Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning in to how to save your note layout on the FPC. So in this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to customize your drum pads, um, the way that you like it, and then being able to save it. All right, so let's get started. Go to channels. Let's first open the FPC. Bam. And here are all my sounds. This is not how I would typically arrange it. Well, the toms were set up right. But, um, you know, I like to set my my pads up in a certain way so I play more efficient. All right. And so I can remember everything because 16 pads, that's too much. All right. <laughs> so I have my Music XPC drum pad here. Um, it's fairly nice. Feels good. Um, however, when I start to play some pads, it's not arranged properly. So I'm going to hit my pads just to give you an example from left to right and we're working my way up so I'll be going this way and then going up doing the same thing alright so here we go pad one it's good it's a kick but it doesn't show up the same way on me on my, on my FPC right oh oh nothing there it's supposed to be my toms oh I'm not even on that row yet my toms are at the top and I got nothing on my top right so let's fix that so let's see here let's just sort of arrange this um, really quickly I'll show you guys an example with the toms because I don't have any pads in that section I got pa I got I got the uh, toms here but on my pads I don't have anything right I got a I got rides and stuff like that I don't want that there I want toms so let's get that on now, let's first select the pad. Then you're gonna hit over here. It says MIDI note, and then it's a C4. That's what it would be on the keyboard. And then you know, cut, cut by output. Those are not uh, important right now. We just want to click the C4, the MIDI note. And then hit learn. Now I'm gonna go to my pad and tap it lightly, just in case I miss. And there we go. Yay! Now my pad number five. We got a tom. Let's go to the next one. We're going to select it first, hit the MIDI notes, and then learn. And there we go. Ah, yeah. We're slowly getting there. Select the next pad. Let's do the same things. Whoa. That's cool, but I don't want two notes at the same time. I can do that myself. How do I get rid of it? So, to get rid of it, you're going to have to go to the pad that you don't want on there. Select it, just like so, left click, then you go down to the menu and do the exact same thing. And there you go. Oh yeah. Now it's by itself. Boom, boom, boom. Let's do the last one. I don't want to crash on there. I want a time on that. Same thing, select the pad first, go to mini note, then go to learn. Then you tap it. And again, I got two at one time. It's really cool. You can, you know, double up, but I don't want to do that. So, same thing. Let's make sure, let's see. Nothing's on that pad, so let's put the crash on there. And that's how you assign, you know, your your note layouts, right? But we want to save it now, all right? So just remember, this row here on my drum pad, my MIDI drum pad, are toms. Right? So let's save that. So what we do to save it, we go to the drop down menu here beside pad, by the pad section here, pad 13 slash 32. Then you're going to go to the drop down and then go to save note layout. Then you can name it as whatever you want. And we'll say Tom Tom, right? Because we mess around with the Toms. Okay. And if I open up a new session now, it should be there. If it's not, I'm going to kick somebody. So let's start off by again, opening up FPC. Those are my toms. I don't have it on as default. See, it's not there. But if I go here, go to the drop down, hit layouts. Oh, look. There's my tom toms. And then my toms are in place. There you go, folks. I hope that helped. Um, if you have any questions, please, please leave a comment below. And in the next tutorial, I'll show you guys how to do some direct monitoring 
to avoid latency. So this is typically for recording and you have a whole bunch of stuff on there and slowing down your computer and you hear that delay and that slap back and you hate it and it's really hard to record. I'm going to show you guys a way to, you know, bypass all that. So anyways, I'm Dan D from Music Marketing TV and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace!